managers and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will talk about how you can manipulate the draw system at the start of the season, so you can get easy opponents in all competitions. Recently I created a Discord server, where you can join and talk about top 11 and real life football. You can find a lot of helpful tips and tricks and everything that you need as a manager link of my Discord server is always in the description below. Before we jump in. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing, it's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if you use my referral code. In order to use my code, go to options, then settings and under social accounts copy and paste my code. It will be in the description below if you want to use it. It helps us both out on the game. You can use it within 7 days of joining the game. Let's play and win great rewards. One of the worst things in top 11 is when you have to face a team that is way stronger than yours. Recently in my discord server and my facebook group, I have seen so many people complaining how they get unrealistic opponents in their leagues, champions leagues, cups etc. In this video I will go into detail and explain to you how I avoid having strong teams in my competitions where I can go and win every single trophy very easily. Some people will call this cheating, but personally I think it's completely fair and there is no cheating whatsoever, because the current draw system is broken and makes no sense. Three season ago I didn't do this trick to try and see what kind of teams will I get in my competition and I finished my season with 115% team overall and on the first day of the season, I faced my cup opponent who was at around 130% and I was down to like 98% due to the new season, which is very unrealistic. I know people will say well that's how the game works and in every league there are opponents who will be stronger than you and you should adapt to it, but it makes no sense to have players with over 50% quality than you. I would rather play in a league where there are 10 managers of equal team quality than one manager who is 50% above everyone else. But before we continue with the tutorial, I have to tell you how top 11 draws your opponents. Top 11 calculates your 14 highest percentage players based on your quality. Here is an example. My best 14 players all together at the end of the season were at around 15-70%, and when divided by 14, I get around 112% quality which is the quality of my best 14 players currently. So if you don't change anything and end the season with this quality, when the next season starts, your quality will drop due to promotion, and you will be placed in competitions with players with quality of around the quality you finished last season, so in this case you will face opponents with around 110%, because you finished the season with around 112%, so the gap will be around 15 or 20% from the start which is pretty huge. Now that you know how the draw system works, we move to the next step. Second step is to check your squad and look for your key players. It's recommended to have few maxed out players. Those maxed out players will be your key players that you will need to keep. Few days ago I made a video where I explain how the 180% training concept works and how you can get those maxed out players, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of resources. In my scenario, these are my key players that I will be keeping for next season. But this manipulation also works even if you don't have any maxed out players. Third step for this manipulation to work is to check your squad for players with 1 or 2 stars. If you don't have any players with 1 or 2 stars, then you need to head to the transfer market and buy low 3 star players. After buying those 3 star players, you will head to the squad tab and sell all the players you don't need and keep the key players for next season. Here is an example. As you can see this is my starting squad before the new season. My quality is around 112%, so like I said earlier if I leave it like this and don't change anything, I will get opponents with this quality. Because I don't want that, I have to decrease my quality. So out of these 11 players, I will keep the players in the green circle because those are my key players. The rest of these players are not important to me because they are fillers and I will be replacing them next season with new 5 star players. The reason why I selling those filler players is because right now they are 5 or even 6 stars, and when the new season starts, they will drop to 4 stars, and I will have to replace them with new 5 star players. After selling those 5 or 6 star players, you will need to replace them with the low quality players you had or bought from the transfer market. After replacing them, you will see that the quality of your team has dropped massively and now it's very low, 
which means if you leave it like this, you will face opponents with this type of quality. Here is another example, after I sold those players, I went and replaced them with the low quality players, my quality went from 112% to 75%, but as you can see I still have my key players who are around 150%. So if I end the season with 75%, next season I will face opponent with this type of quality, and because I have my key players, I only need to replace the low quality players with new players that are 5 stars to get back to 110%, which will make me the strongest team in every competition. New season started and now I will show you the quality of teams that I will face in the Cup and Champions League. The first team I face in my Cup match is 30%, which is amazing. Now let's go through the rest of the Cup and the Champions League to see what kind of opponents I got. The highest opponent for now is 80%, so for me to get the 80%, I only need to replace my 1 star players with the key players I have on the bench. After replacing them I have 78% of the team which is way better than everyone else in my competition. This concludes that my manipulation worked really well. So now you can start finding fillers again that will replace the one star players. After replacing your one star players, your quality will improve massively. So pretty much that's everything about this manipulation. It's very simple, but every season you have to buy players to replace those one star players, but it will be worth it because you will be winning trophies. Keep in mind that in some seasons, you will get managers who will be doing the exact same thing and you will probably face them in your league or champions league. So a quick summary of everything we went today. You need one or two star players to replace the filler players who will go down to four, five or even six stars. After replacing them you have to sell them so they won't affect the calculation. You keep the key players on the bench and replace them with one or two star players. So now you have a full team of low quality players. So when top 11 does the calculation, your best 14 players will have low quality due to the low quality players you have on your squad. And boom, now you play with low quality opponents while you rebuild your team back to where it was last season by replacing those low quality players and buying a few 5 star players from the transfer market. That's all I had to say for today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on your notification alert so you won't miss a video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and let's try to hit 50 plus likes on this video. Make sure you join my discord server where you can talk about top 11 and real life football. Link of my discord server is always in the description below if you have any questions please comment down below thanks for watching and i will see you in my next episode take care and peace